일상의 소음 사이로 비치는 이른 오후의 햇살이 마음을 평화롭게 합니다. 나무 아래서 명상하는 일을 만났습니다. 마침 이곳에서는 마라톤 대회가 열리고 있고 남자는 이제 마라톤을 준비합니다. Whatever it is, you guys see me if you want. Well, it's not gonna be so fun. It's be, it's gonna be painful. I know that. I'm going. 이 남자를 따라가 보기로 합니다. 오직 두 발의 보폭과 자신의 호흡으로 대지를 딛고 달립니다. 고통이 밀려들면 잊고 있던 몸의 감각이 살아납니다. 마라톤은 그렇게 자신과 함께 달리는 경주입니다. 근육은 경직되고 몸은 지쳤지만 21km 마라톤을 완주한 얼굴은 더 맑아 보입니다. 정신과 전문의 구가야 아키라 씨는 뇌과학자이기도 합니다. Tend to miss is your brain fatigue, or it's called the central fatigue. Because our mind is busy, and if we keep using the brain, our brain gets tired as well, as well as your muscles. Okay, so you need to find out the way to rest your brain. 몸이 쉬어도 뇌가 쉬지 못한다면 진정한 휴식은 오지 않습니다. The DMN is like a beam of a house. Okay, beam. Okay, so it's from here to here. These are the areas connected and called. 디 m 은 뇌의 핵심 영역들의 회로로서 뇌의 휴식을 판별하는 중요한 열쇠입니다. 과도한 일과 스트레스는 이 영역을 지나치게 활성화시켜 뇌를 필요한 상태에 이르게 하고 반대로 휴식을 잘 취한다면 이 영역의 활동은 느려지면서 뇌가 휴식할 수 있게 됩니다. 그렇다면 디 m 의 작동을 늦추는 뇌의 휴식법은 무엇이 있을까요? 구가야는 뇌를 쉬게 하는 최고의 휴식법으로 마음 챙김을 꼽습니다. Your feet down on the floor, and your hands maybe on your back, and you may relax your shoulder, and you pay attention to the sensation when you breathe in. 뇌를 휴식하게 하는 명상, 그것이 바로 마음 챙김입니다. 
uh, because of what I learned here, I was able to. We don't have time to take a vacation every day, five hours. Mm -hmm. So if you have five, 10 minutes, and if you can refresh, and if you can stay away from tiredness, why not? And well, mindfulness is one of the you know, um, straightforward methods. <music> 세계적 수준의 의과대학이 있는 캘리포니아 대학교 샌프란시스코 캠퍼스. 이 대학의 정신의학과 교수인 엘리사 에펠은 탈로미아의 특성을 밝혀내 노벨 생리의학상을 수상한 엘리자베스 블랙번과 함께 탈로미아의 효과에 대한 심층적인 연구를 해오고 있습니다. These caps at the end are telomeres. And so these are very important protection for the genes here. And as we go through life, we want to have a healthy cellular environment. We want these to maintain strong, sturdy telomeres. Telomere는 세포 속의 염색체를 보호하는 덮개 역할을 합니다. 나이가 들어 노화가 일어날수록 텔로미어는 빨리 닳고 손상됩니다. 엘리사 에펠은 텔로미어를 보호하고 노화를 막는 연구 중 매우 흥미로운 사실을 발견했습니다. 숙련된 명상가 집단은 유전자 발현에 특이점을 보인다는 것입니다. 텔로미어가 더 길고 텔로미어를 보호하는 효소인 텔로머레이즈 분비가 잘 된다는 것. 그녀는 이 현상을 명상이 텔로미어에 미치는 효과라고 이야기합니다. Now that we know so much more about meditation and how that affects our biology, we change our psychological stress, our body stress, and this can change our cellular aging. When we meditate, we're, we do different things with our mind. This focused attention, this attitude of kindness to ourself and to others, and feel, letting ourselves feel positive emotion when it happens, experiencing it more. So these things reduce all of these stress processes in the mind. Inspirational point or inspiration point. It's really cozy and something special here. As you can see, some you know, yellow, you know, small flowers are blooming here and the nice, you know, vegetation here. Um, just being here makes you kind of mindful. And being mindful, and which means to me, uh, it gives me some rest. James Doty 박사는 명상 수행으로 도달할 수 있는 마음에 관한 연구를 합니다. 명상은 마음의 휴식을 이끌어 뇌가 휴식할 수 있도록 도와줍니다. Mindfulness practice is the body survey or relaxing, breathing, and not having a physiologic response to the negative conversation. Okay, and that's why that works. But I think what we do with the compassion cultivation training actually takes it further. 그는 연민의 중요성을 강조합니다. 사려 깊고 친절한 마음. 즉 연민을 통해 스스로의 평안을 찾고 더 나아가 타인과 세상도 바꿀 수 있다는 겁니다. With certain types of techniques that this can result in a dramatic change in your brain as well as the rest of the physiology in your body. In terms of helping people become more calm, less stressed, more compassionate 
because as we were talking about earlier, when you act with compassion towards another, it makes you feel good. And in fact, the Dalai Lama says, being compassionate is the only time it's okay to be selfish. And what he means is, when you are kind to other people, when you're caring for other people, you're actually benefiting. Stanford 의과대학의 컴패션 센터. 이곳에선 연민을 키우기 위한 8주간의 명상 수업이 이루어집니다. Did everybody do their evaluations? Did you all do your evaluations? Here is the separation between you and the other person, where you just shut down and you just, I'm going to just do my job and I'm not going to get involved. This is where we we are susceptible to contagion. Like emotional contagion, hypo, hypo, and hyper response over time leads to burnout. 연민을 키우기 위한 통렌 수행 시간입니다. 티베더로 주고받기라는 의미의 통렌 수행은 타인의 고통과 절망에 닫혀 있던 마음의 문을 열고 상대에게 자신의 행복을 나눠줌으로써 나의 참된 본성을 발견하는 것입니다. Both my personal life and in my practice, I'm a counselor. So, you know, there are a few times this week in sessions where I was quietly doing the Tonglen practices. I was listening to my clients, and one of them at the end of the session said, "I'd like that you can just sit with those moments in between." And I was like, "Well, I guess this is kind of working." So <laughs> it kind of allowed me to remain present in a way there that. Uh, I'm hoping to do more of so. Great. And then they left the fence guy to come, and I had this beautiful 10 feet flowering maple tree. Yeah. <laughs> and the fence guy had cut it down. The guy comes to my door, and I open the door, and he's a very older guy, like my father's age. He apologized. He said, There has been a misunderstanding. One of my workers just made a mistake. I meant another plant, and they cut your tree. <laughs> and then I don't know what was that turning point in me. I was upset for 24 hours. I was like so mad. And then I just, I don't know what really happened in that moment that I got connected to this guy. And I said, you know what? I learned not to get attached to things in the world. I was so attached to that flowering maple. Now I'm okay. That was a good practice for me. So don't worry about it. So anyways, thank you so much. That was another takeaway. <laughs> You are officially alumni of this course. You're all compassion agents to change this world that we live in, to bring some kindness and concern, not only to yourself, but to everyone else. So go forth and spread the good news. Thank you.
When you train people, when people train themselves literally, to choose compassion as a, a way of defaulting to these challenges, their experience changes dramatically. It begins to transform them back to what's the value of doing it with a difficult person. Because you become free. It frees you. Freedom feels restful.